picture this. It's 2012 and it's a rainy day in the middle of the summer. As you're laying in bed, listening to the rain, you go on to YouTube. And at some point, you stumble upon a game called Minecraft. And it is being played by YouTubers like Captain Sparkles, Ant Venom, Yogg's Cast, Sky Does Minecraft, and a bunch of recognizable names that you've watched as a kid. Though this game is 13 years old, Minecraft continues to resurface over and over again to this day with new ideas, people building new stuff, and new mods. Without this game and the people who became popular from it, it wouldn't go on to inspire other creators, or those creators inspiring other creators. Hell, it doesn't even matter about inspiration. This game tends to bring about new faces to this game automatically. Not to mention that Minecraft has this secret ability where it's able to reveal these new faces as <laughs> terrible people. Besides these awful people, Minecraft truly is a one-of-a-kind game that could never be replicated more than once. It, it truly is an amazing game. Then there's Minecraft Dungeons. So, about three... About three years ago, or 24 videos ago, Jesus Christ, I did a review of this game called Minecraft Dungeons. I need to say this real quick, I am really stretching the word review in this case. I honestly just want them to add toes in Minecraft, please. What if I just find Brad Pitt? I mean, have you seen Brad Pitt? He's quite the dreamboat. Yeah, I forgot to mention that the footage that I've gathered was- I, I- no, no, I'm sorry. Un I unironically can't watch this video. I can't. It's only 35 seconds. I can't! Now, I don't think if you could tell by my reaction there, but that video was awful. It was terrible. All this video is, is me going on a schizophrenic rambling about random shit and not really reviewing the game at all. Not to mention the editing is really mediocre. Anyways, I love Minecraft more than the next guy. All right, I mean, who doesn't? However, that love is not shared with this game because it's... It's just not good, man. It's actually really bad. First, let's start with the pros. The game is absolutely beautiful. Even though this is taking place in Minecraft, it really does feel like a different game. It kind of feels like seeing shaders for the first time. Not to mention, the world feels more alive than actual Minecraft. You got pirate ships, ancient ruins, desert temples with booby traps, the redstone mines, mountain villages, and other locations that make you wonder, why don't they add this to the actual game? That question also applies to the enemies and the weapons you can collect. Base game mods have more variety like ice creepers, a skeleton lich, or whatever that is. There are different types of illagers, there are redstone golems, and a bunch of other mobs that would take too long to list, and it's the same for the weapons and armor. And again, why isn't this in the base game? <laughs> Anyways, those are basically all the pros. Now let's talk about the cons. First, the story of this game surrounds a little illager trying to find a home and he finds a village hoping that they would accept him and he is immediately kicked out due to the villagers being just a, just a little racist. But I'll be honest, if I knew what the illagers were doing to make ravagers, I too would be disgusted by their presence. Then after traveling for a while, he finds the Orb of Dominance, which he uses to enslave the villagers, and what? The story is just, it's just there. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, de it's definitely not good. This story just felt forced, but at the end of the day, I really shouldn't expect much from Mojang, especially when they do this whole mob voting thing. Then there is the gameplay. Now I would say that Minecraft is a pretty peaceful game when it's not modded, that is. So the fact that they were going to abandon that first person open world experience and build anything you want formula so they can do something new is very risky. But they took a gamble and made this game into a dungeon crawler. When you hear that type of game, you might think of Hades 1 and 2, or The Binding of Isaac and uh, Elden Ring, according to Google. So it might be an exciting time. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm building this up. This is part of the cons. The gameplay is so unimaginably boring. The amount of times I fell asleep trying to get the gameplay footage was painful. It was awful. It just, it's so unbelievably dull. I mean, look at other dungeon crawlers compared to this one. Unlike this game, I would say that most dungeon crawlers start out as you being very weak to having a build that is so powerful that you become either an unkillable god or so powerful that you end up crashing your game. 
because you can do that for some reason. However, Dungeons doesn't do that. In fact, it doesn't do anything that exciting. It's just this. I'm having so much fun. Oh, thank you, Dungeon. Thank you. Fuck off. Then we have the rarity of loot. In some dungeon crawlers or some games that I know of, there are five rarities. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary, or sometimes mythic for other games. But in Minecraft Dungeons, there is only common, rare, and legendary. Now that doesn't really matter because there is always a percentage of when this loot will drop. Now this is just speculation, but the percentage of legendary items dropping varies from normal enemies, I would say 10%, for bosses, 20%, and invisible chests or secrets, probably uh, 30%. And since this is a children's game, you might as well add another 10% to that. So this is the rate of which legendary items drop. But like I said, I am just guessing. This is the best part about the game. The dopamine you get from getting a legendary item when you're constantly farming almost makes you forget that you're playing an awful game. But they, but they ruined that as well because they added this thing called the battle towers. You see, in this tower, you need to complete 30 levels by fighting a bunch of enemies. And once you complete that, you get to choose one out of three legendary items. But this, like I said, this is a children's game. So, I mean, the battle tower is not exactly challenging. So it is very easy. You are basically sitting, you are feeling it numb as you are playing in the battle tower. It, it's just that, it's that awful. Because why have a rarity system if he can just farm the battle tower constantly for those legendary items? <laughs> It's, it's so, it's so fucking stupid, dude. But you want to know what's even worse than the battle tower? They added a battle pass because that's not, that's never been done before. <laughs> right? Right? Why is it anyone clapping? But yeah, Minecraft Dungeons is just a, it's a bad, it's a bad game. And one thing I hate about this the most was they took risk and now, that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. Risks are good because you are, you are going out of your comfort zone in the gaming industry and making something that is new. But the way I see it, they didn't fully commit to the risk. Instead of going full force into this, they chose the safe path to the point where it just became mediocre. Maybe that's why this game was a massive failure to the point they had to shut down the online service for this. That's ridiculous. And I know that there are about five DLC for this game but I am not wasting my money nor my sanity just for this review, all right? I have limits, okay? And it's no, absolutely not. Anyways, this game is a 3 out of 10. It is bad. I want I wanted to be generous and give this a 4 out of 10, but it is way too boring and terrible. Like Engine Impact. I haven't even started on that video yet. Okay, bye.